Alright, what you're mainly hearing in the background is the sound of my dog lapping away at water. He's evidently very thirsty. Today, for the first time, I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. I'm going to be making coffee inside my own house. Uh, if you know, I've only within the last year or so actually drank any coffee of any kind. I found I kind of like mochas, but I only have them like two or three times a week. But even there, I figured, you know what, every time I go to Starbucks, it's four dollars for a mocha. I mean, even a tall mocha, tall soy mocha is four dollars. Well, I figure that's twelve to sixteen dollars a week. Now you're talking four times that, and you know, it can get start to add up to fifty, sixty dollars a month. So I'm like, well, why not make it at home? So I'm gonna have a grinder, which the cord can't stretch far enough. Uh, uh. Got a grinder. That was about ten dollars, and a French press. So this was about twenty-five dollars at a fancy place. So, be uh, kind of making my own coffee here. We'll see how it all works, and you can tell I'm trying to move around so you can see it. Anyway, so first I'm going to grind the beans, put it together, see how it goes. All right, so for some of you who don't know anything about coffee, and that includes me, me, so trust me, we're all in this together. These are beans, they smell very, very strong. This is a, uh, an espresso roast that I picked up at Starbucks, about $3 for a quarter of a pound, so we'll see how far it goes. Now, the idea here is I need to basically take about a teaspoon or so of so It's about a good heaping teaspoon right there, and boy, these beans do look really wet. Uh, I was told that by the guy in Starbucks. He mentioned that that means that they've got a lot of caffeine in them. So I might get really dust. Now, because I'm going to be grinding them down, I'm getting just a little bit more than a whole tea tablespoon. So that should be more than enough. All right. So I put my grinder on, put the lid on, make sure it's nice and snug. And now I need to cut these coarsely. If you'll see, this is what I'm going to be using. It's what's called, again, a French press. Basically, it's coffee goes down here, water goes on top. It'll sit there about four minutes, and then push this down. And what will be left over is coffee with all the grounds down here in the bottom. Because of this, we've got to hear this fine little mesh. Now, we don't want little ebity particles of coffee clogging that up because they'll never get it down, and it'll just make this a big mess. So I need to coarsely cut, the, cut grind these beans. So, noisy time. Wow. Okay. So this is my first time, so we'll see how well or badly I did it. So, these have been, I think, coarsely cut. They're not super fine. I still see some chopped up pieces of beans in there. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, Pour these in the container here, and then we'll see what you can see. Okay. So. Got some avocado there in my finger. That was uh, over here in the cutting board. All right, so here we got here some ground up beans. You see some of these are still a little bit whole. Most of these have been kind of cut up a little bit fine. So. I'm going to get some hot water, put it together in a second. All right, now, you need about four ounces of water. I'm only making one cup for now. It's four ounces of water. Luckily, I've got this hot water dispenser. It needs to be hot, but not boiling at four ounces. It's about half a cup. Eight ounces of water to a cup. So that should be it right about there. Now, we'll pour this inside. I'll try not to get any on the computer. That is it. I'm going to kind of stir this up like this. Oh, I can already feel it getting heating up that glass there, so I'm going to stir away. Now, I could use a spoon, but all I have in my house are metal spoons. I'll have to fix that later on. You don't not want to use metal spoons with one of these. This is glass, and if you go using metal spoons, you're going to you know, start cracking up the glass. So we'll just kind of stir it. Swish it, swish it. Stirred, not shaken. Okay, this should be about pretty good. Now, we'll leave that for about the next four minutes. All right, and with the magic of delayed timing, we've got our beans here. It looks very, very dark down there at the bottom. Very nice. Now, why do I go with the French press instead of some other methods? Well, mainly because I've been reading the flavors better. When you get the filter, water goes into the into there, into the 
shot into the ground, cats go through the filter, from the filter in the pot, you lose some of the flavor, and because it's sitting here for so long, you can burn the coffee. With this, it's been about four minutes. Now, when I push this down, so it's just kind of put it like this, just use the weight of the hand, and everything, not too hard, nice, gentle. And that should be it. All the ground stuff is down there at the bottom. That's hot container. On the top should just be the coffee. Okay, so I'm now going to pour myself a cup here and uh, see how it goes. All right, so I've pressed it all down. Now I should pour myself a cup. What's nice about this is it's got these little seeds right there. I guess I need to turn this around, actually. Uh, this has got some little grates along one side, not the other. But this way, I guess since there's any captured grounds, then it's just pour it out. And that's it. Right now the coffee does smell very strong. Okay, this black actually does pretty good just as it is. I actually, I think I kind of like that just as it is. A little bit, a little bit bitter. But what I'm going to do is make it even better. So, so far I've not yet gotten used to just drinking just plain coffee. But I have decided I like mochas. Now, this is not really a mocha. I know that a mocha is really a, an espresso put into milk or soy milk, as, as in this case. I think I kind of prefer the soy because it's not quite as sweet. But this will be kind of close enough, so I'm just going to mix in the coffee with the soy milk. Probably about equal portions, right about there. Should be good. Now, at this point, this is kind of a latte. Again, it's not really because I did not use an espresso. Uh, an espresso, for those of you who don't know the difference, is that it's actually pressurized. Uh, I think I was reading it's like 16 pounds per square inch. Very quickly push that steam, push the water through that finely ground uh, coffee beans, you know, espresso beans in this case. But that's okay. That's chocolate, not too much. Just have to flavor it. So this is going to be a little bit more watered down than what uh, most espressos, you know, mochas really are. Because again, a mocha is a espresso directly into the either milk or cream or soy milk, and a bit of chocolate. Mm. Very, very nice. What I'll have to do in the future, now that I know, is heat up my soy milk first, because it's, it's almost like an ice milk at this point. And it's got that nice, little bit of a coffee bite to it. Chocolate mix it goes in very nicely. So this is good. So this is my first homemade sort of mocha. Anyway, cheers.